On Saturday, October 20th, boxing returns to Brooklyn after 80 years at the brand new Barclays Center. In preparation, some of the fighters were here at Crunch Gym for Media Week, where we had the opportunity to watch them spar and speak with them. With us is Devin Alexander. Now, Devin, we, we were way back. We were downtown the way last time I saw at, you. Uh, Madison Square Garden when I fought Chop Chop Corley. So, yeah, definitely. But way back, I was like 12 and 0, I think, at the time. Yeah. And, and now what's the record? The record is 23 and 1. Well, 23 and 1. <laughs> that's a lot of fights. Yes, yes. So, so, so tell us a little bit about the journey from that point till now. Oh, man, the journey. Well, that fight actually opened up a lot of doors, you know, and a lot of people got to recognize me as one of the you know, high prospect to watch. So, you know, um, I just been on a fast journey, you know, um, you know, fighting top guys, top notch guys, not fighting, you know, guys that, you know, can't fight, you know, or whatever. I'm just trying to make a name for myself and, you know, here I am, you know, still on a big stage and I'm continuing to work hard. And I see you're still with your same trainer. Yes, yes. Still with my trainer, Kevin Cunningham. Been with him for 17 years now. You know, we, we're, we're a good team. We uh, stick together, and he's known me, he knows me best, so I'm not going anywhere. Now, tell us a little bit, though, about this opponent that's coming up. I hear he's uh, like a, some knockout king. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that, that's his name, K.O. King Bailey, you know, and, <laughs> you know, he, he got more knockouts than I got wins. So, you know, he's, he's definitely, you know, going to come in a fight. So, but, but I'm, I'm definitely ready. You know, uh, last time I did your show, I had a... Tremendous night, and I'm going to have a tre tremendous night Saturday night. And how are you going to counteract all those KOs? Well, you know, I mean, he, he's a bully. He's just like a bully, you know. Um, you know, once you get a bully, you know, you take that, that one thing he got, which is, you know, his strength. You take his strength away, and he has nothing, and he's going to fold like a little baby, you know. So. Of course, of course. Me and my coach always wow. come up with a tremendous game plan. Every fight, you know, we, we prepare for whatever the – that strength that opponent got, we work on it, and we definitely expect? utilize it. I expect for him to try to come in and bully me, you know, try to scare me with the right hand, but it ain't gonna work because I'm young, I'm fast, and I'm, you know, in my prime. So I, I, I don't care if you hit hard, you know. I, I fought tough, tough opponents, you know, Matisse, Medina, you know, back-to-back -back hard punches. So I don't care about what he has. A lot of busy night. He's gonna have to come busy, you know. He got to be ready. And people always think that I, I don't have enough power, but he's, gonna, he's definitely going to feel the power, too. <laughs> you know, you know this, this is boxing, and you never know what, you, what to expect. But, you know, I, I'm not ruling it out, definitely not, because my power is there. You know his reputation. Yes, yes, of course, of course. And, you know, all the opponents that he lost to, you know, Either, you know, he couldn't hit him with the right hand or was, you know, he was outclassed, you know. And, you know, every elite fighter that he did fight, you know, he lost. So, you know, I'm a elite fighter. I consider myself. You knocked out Figueroa, I think, in like four rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was a left hook. No, that was, that, was a, that was a right hand. That was a right hand. That was a right hand. And well, don't leave yourself open, open and, and definitely don't get in no corners, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah de definitely, definitely. And, you know, you may sneak we, one in we, there. You never know. We got a tremendous, tremendous game plan, and you know, and he, he's not going to be able to utilize anything on me. You know, I'm, I'm ready. What about fighting the Barclays? Oh, hot, hot. You know, you got this, this state of the art building that I'm, that we fight in. You know, one billion dollars. I mean, it has to be amazing. You know, and I'm excited to be a part of the car. You know, I was supposed to fight September 8th. You know, in in Vegas, but you know, it didn't happen that way. But Something better happened. You know, I'm fighting on my dad's birthday, who died in 2005, so I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, so this one's for him. Yeah, yeah, you can say that. You can say definitely my, <laughs> for my, uh, one of the uh, what reasons I want to win this fight, you know, is for my dad and, you know, just working hard. Keep working hard. So you're inspired. Yes, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm inspired every fight. I mean, each, each fight inspired me a different type of way, and, you know, I'm just happy to be, still be in a good situation that I'm in, and, I'm excited. I'm excited. Definitely excited. You know, I'm 25 years old, and you know, I'll be the youngest champion to ever win three three world titles this young. You know, from St. Louis, and you know, this is a big deal. This is a big deal for me. And you know, most most you know fighters don't even get a chance to fight for one title, let alone you know his third world title at 25. So I'm lucky. I ain't gonna say I'm lucky, but I'm just blessed. Hey, Devin, can you give me a, a shot out here? <laughs> shout out to Crystal Hart, you know, one of the, girl, the very first girls that put me on YouTube. Um, I'm excited about that, and look out for a show.